Praise the Lord, we're going to church. Uh, Evangeline, uh, I'm glad you didn't tell your dad, uh, dear Deborah Dunham, that uh, I was, Daddy, I only get married when RCB wins the IPF. You can't say, Daddy, I only get married when RCB wins the IPF. We won't have this wonderful, glorious, God bless day. Uh, Pranav and uh, Evangeline, we wish you a blessed marriage life. We wish that your marriage is filled with the following ingredients from the Bible, God's Word, human words. These in ingredients interestingly have two English words which can be remembered using the acronym MC, MC. The first MC the Bible reveals must be part of every marriage including yours is meaningful conversation. I repeat meaningful conversation. Elkana understood this need of his wife in fact, uh, Suresh sir men mentioned th about that. That is why he spoke those loving words to his wife Hannah. Why are you crying, Hannah? Why aren't you eating? Am I not more to you than ten sons? Uh, as 1 Samuel 1 8 talks about. Well, those romance lays loving words that was found in Elkanah's mouth could have well been in Shahrukh Khan's mouth in a movie scene. Kana, I have no doubt. I have no doubt that you fill your days with such romantic talk with Evangelism. Not this Elkana, even evil Bible queen Jezebel, uh, she uh, surprisingly knew the value of having romantic, meaningful conversation with her husband Ahab. So when Ahab returned home from office and looked quite upset, his wife Jezebel asked him, What's the matter? What's made you so upset? You have to consciously switch off your smartphone. Turn off your computer and as a couple of weeks do that yeah, on we have every no Thursday. Gadget, no gadget day. No gadget day. Thursdays. We touch each other but not together. Okay. You have to consciously switch off your smartphone, turn off your computer, not read your email. You should go on a vacation with your family, take a break or else it's all coming to you all the time. Who spoke those words? Not a Christian counselor. But in fact, they were spoken by a Google Vice President in an India Today conclave in the year 2007. They were wise words in line with what we just understood from the words of Elkanah and Jezebel. Marriage is a place where loving, meaningful conversation takes place regularly. We are talking about MCs. So the first is meaningful conversation. And what is the next view? Magical climaxes. What is that magical climax? It's alabaster physical intimacy inside marriage. Four times, not one time, not two times, not three times, four times, the Bible uses the phrase one flesh when it talks about the marriage union under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Uh, in the Bible, there's a book where the Bible records the loving physical intimacy of a couple, the book. Song of Songs. And guess what? Though there are a lot of sexual situations in that book, there's not a mention of a birth of a child, which means God places a premium on couples having healthy physical intimacy within marriage. I remember the words written by the Proverbs when man in the Bible in Proverbs 5, 18 to 20, at this juncture, he wrote, Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of, her, of your youth. May you ca be captivated always by your love. And this is my prayer and wish for love that you always be intoxicated with Eva's love for you. Sheila Ray Gregory said, Intimacy is about sharing with your spouse that you don't share with anyone else. Magical climaxes are not just about physical intimacy. In a healthy marriage, just couple knit together emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, materially, they are us. They are one flesh, as a couple of authors, James Sells and Mark Yardhouse said. So what is the first MC? First MC, meaningful conversations. And second is magical climax. And the third is the making of children. MC, another MC. The third MC is making of children. We believe God brings the blessings that we talked about in Psalm 127 and Psalm 128 into your life, Evangeline and Prana. Psalm 128 paints this God-blessed 
scenario, your wife will be like a fruitful wife and your children like all the shoots around your table. And this is how the Lord blesses the person, those who fear him. Psalm 127, one psalm about, talks about how every parent needs to sharpen the kids. God graciously gives them into the quiver of their families so that the children become arrows for the Lord. Psalm 78 reminds parents of the responsibility to teach the children, the next generation, the ways of God. And having a regular family prayer time sets the ball rolling in this regard. What are the ingredients of an incredible marriage? According to the Bible, let me encapsulate it again. It is meaningful conversation, magical climax, and making of children. And what is the fourth MCU? The fourth MC that should fill every quest on the marriage, including yours, evangelism and pronoun, should be full of this molding of character. Moses' character was shaped and sharpened by Zipporah, his wife. Zipporah exactly knew why God wanted to kill her husband Moses. So she immediately circumcised the son and threw his foreskin at Moses, who apparently refused to circumcise his own son out of a desire to please his father-in-law, who came from a culture where only adults were circumcised just before marriage. I told you to please God, not my dad. Now see, God became mad at you. Maybe those were the words of Zipporah to her husband Moses. And we read that in Exodus chapter 4. Moses' life was spared and he grew in character thanks to his wife who gave him, who molded his character. And in the Old Testament, Sapir had joined the hypocrisy of her husband, Ananias, which Acts 5 talks about. And, uh, and she lost an invaluable opportunity to shape his character. Both the husband and the wife are need to mold each other's character, setting aside their EGO, egos. I provided Apostle Paul's wonderful words in 1 Corinthians 7 14. For the believing wife brings holiness to our marriage, and the believing husband brings holiness to his marriage. He was talking about having a sacred influence on your spouse. So let's recap now. The divine ingredients for a delightful marriage are these following MC. MC, then I'm going to ask the couple and the audience as well. So the first MC. What is the first for MC? Anybody from the crowd? Yeah, the couples are. We're listening here. What is the first MC? It is meaningful conversation. And the second MC is magical climax. Third, it is making of children. And the fourth MC is molding of character. What is the fifth MC do? And the final. The fifth and final MC is merge Christ's reflection. Aquila and Priscilla, a couple part of the early church, Joined together to reflect Christ together. They joined to count 